A glove does not defy the hand, and yet you've done just that. So this is my name, yet I am also called The Beginning. I am progenitor and mother to all who call Fodlin home. Where am I? I am not here to answer all you ask. Yet, I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. If you so wish, then take a seat. But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. You lack the power to resist. My flesh? What are you saying? You should not have interfered! I could have cut that wretch down with a stroke! Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, lazy bones. <laughs> Get up already. You sure you're all right? You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Wait, didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yes, and your eyes too. How that happened is beyond me. Anyway, we lost the battle, so probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around and get my head on straight. Don't worry, I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. This isn't an enemy we can beat if we're not at full strength. We're not just up against the kingdom here. They've got the church on their side too, and the Knights of Saros. This will be a trying battle indeed, but I will follow you to the ends of the earth if I must, Captain. Even in the face of my own former colleagues, I won't pull a single punch. Thanks, Alois. I know it won't be easy, but the Empire's shoving a lot of gold in our pockets for this. We've got to deliver on our end of the deal. Even if it means taking on the Knights of Seros to do it. You look troubled, Gerald. Is something wrong? Uh, can't hide anything from you, can I? It's just I have history with someone from the church. And I'd rather keep it as history if I can. I don't want anything to do with them, not as enemy or ally. Hmm. You're really going back to Ferdiad? After all it took to get to this point? I will only be gone for a short while. A month at most, perhaps. I don't understand. What could possibly demand your presence in the capital so urgently? Is there something big going down in Ferdiad? I can't imagine things have gotten too out of hand with my father there to hold the line. Explain to them, Boar. This is a threat only us Northerners understand. Very well. A group of soldiers from the Srang region has broken through the defenses in Gautier territory and makes for the capital. According to reports, Duke Ivan herself rode out to intercept them, but was overwhelmed and subsequently captured. 
All contact from Margrave Gautier has ceased as well. So we've no way of confirming any of this. What? This is horrible! You can say that again. There's no chance of mounting a war effort when your capital's been ransacked. To be honest, I can't imagine my old man going down that easy. It's still true that we've lost contact with him, though. Something's definitely happening here. This is quite an alarming revelation indeed. Not only has the church made the northern town of Camulus its new base of operations, but many of our members have been traveling to Ferdiad on a regular basis. Srang, that's the peninsula north of Farkas, yes? Yeah, but as far as I can remember, they've always been peaceful. Peaceful? Hardly. You show even the slightest hint of weakness, and they'll sink their teeth into you without so much as a second thought. The Srang region borders the northeast side of our kingdom. It's a harsh land, blanketed in snow from the outset of the year to its dying days. I can only assume they seek fertile ground, and in doing so, the means for their survival. Shame. We could have negotiated had they not been so intent on pillaging. As it stands, I'll be returning to the north to lead a force meant to repel them. With both the Margrave and Duke Ivan missing in action, the matter is gravely serious. His Majesty has no choice but to get personally involved. If it's really that bad, wouldn't it be better if we tagged along? You'll need backup if the fight's gonna be as tough as you're making it out to be. You cannot deny that, Dimitri. This matter concerns us as well. We would be remiss not to offer our assistance. I appreciate the offer, truly. But we need to maintain a robust force here as well. You're one of the key figures in this army now. Look after Aryan Road for me. We have struck a blow to the Empire's forces. But it is only a matter of time until they hit back. To do? Rodrigue? The two of you will ride with me. A few dozen knights will be joining us as well. Yes, Your Majesty. It's still entirely possible that the Margrave's envoy was somehow delayed. That nothing is in fact amiss. Sylvain, I'd like you to await them here in Orion Road, just in case. Got it. Stay safe out there, Your Majesty. As for you, Duke Fraldarius, I leave command of the army to you in my stead. If the envoy does arrive, well, the appropriate course of action will be in your hands. Just remember, the soldiers stationed here are not mere soldiers. They're kingdom citizens. And as such, we have a duty to protect every last one of them. If they're lost, I will have nothing left, save hollow prayers for the dead. <laughs> Fine, then. Please, don't look at me like that. I know this burden is a heavy one, but I suspect you will lead them better than I. Now then, I expect you all to keep word of my leaving between ourselves. It would not do to have that information fall into the Empire's hands. Azure Gleam. The King Awakens. The Kingdom's assault on the former Arundel territory proves successful, but the wind carries dire word of invasion from Srang in the north. Having lost contact with Margrave Gautier, Dimitri departs Arian Road and makes for the capital, Ferdia. He fears he may be walking into a trap yet he marches on all the same. And you're sure? Very. The Srang people did indeed attack, but they never broke through Gautier territory. Meaning the Margrave is unharmed. Why then was our contact cut off? 
It's possible someone within the kingdom is interfering. The Margrave suspected as much when his initial envoy never returned. In response, he dispatched a slew of messengers, myself included, all on wholly distinct routes. It would appear I'm the only one who arrived safely. It's good to know my father's safe, but it's starting to sound like we have a big problem on our hands. Like as not, someone's ambushing these messengers as they pass through Blathed Lands. And this is bringing back bad memories. It's all too similar to when Count Rose's convoy was attacked. The boar suspected Cornelia at the time, and I'm growing ever more inclined to agree with him. Have you any news from the North? What of the capital and the king? Nothing at the time of my departure, I'm sorry to report. Guess there's only one way to find out then. We should head up there ourselves, Felix. The Margrave would surely send word if something were to happen at the capital. I imagine we'll have more clarity on the situation in a few days' time. We don't have a few days. You need to act, Felix. And you need to do it now. <sighs> but if we move too rashly, the Imperial forces near the fortress will grow wise to our maneuvers. As though any of that'll matter if the King winds up dead. Losing Aryan Road would be the least of our worries then. We'd be trapped in a massive war of succession, and easy pickings for the Empire. Ah, <sighs> even at a distance, that man has an uncanny talent for giving me headaches. Very well. Notify all troops stationed at the fortress, and round up a team of our most elite soldiers. We're heading north. <laughs>